just went through the drive through at Dunkin Donuts and I'm going to show Garrett his shift should be starting right about now guys there's the new fire station we got built and this is the new fire truck I got to show him he's going to be really excited to see this truck here we go where's Garrett he, he's oh there he is he's in the oh he sees me through the window there we go he's gonna jump on the pole yo garrett man check this out look at this thing where did you get this yeah so this used to be our old 7.3 liter uh f-350 had dualies uh and it was our old shop truck well the engine blew up broke down i put a cummins in it lifted it this any left here watch this here i gotta i gotta start it up first you ready yeah i'm ready oh check that out there so you, you can go. if you if you gotta tow something you can do this and then I'll squat it to make it level. And then if you just want to look cool, you can do it like this. But we recommend not going like this. Do not squat yeah. the truck. A lot of people will make fun of us. I was going to say, too, I don't know how well that's going to be for driving. You wouldn't want any weight in the bed. Yeah, for sure. So anyway, that's our new kind of fire truck. And if we ever got to make a call care and we got to haul a bunch of people, well, you can fit like 10 people in here. It's like a limo. All right. Well, it's perfect for the job. Well, so that's cool. Or flood kind water of... rescue. Flood water rescue. Didn't even think about this, man. That would oh, be yeah. so nice. This is how you're going to justify the purchase? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We'll be able to rescue so many people at once. We can deep water. We can get in there. And uh, yeah, this will work out. All right. Well, I like it. Um, but man, look at this fire station. Finally up and running. Yeah, it looks good. You've been doing a lot of work in here. Today, I'm the ambulance driver. But uh, you got everything ready to go or you're still working? Yep, everything should be ready to go. This, everything's just being fine-tuned and stocked up, but most of the engines are fully ready for going on calls. Nice. And then, yeah, you got the pole installed. That's awesome. So when we get a call, guys, here's our oxygen tanks, too. When we get a call, we'll just, you know, if you're on the second floor, you can just go down the old trusty fire pole. Check it out. Looks like they're doing a little training seminar in there. Yes, Some, sir. Uh, Those are future firefighters right there. Heck yeah, dude. Awesome in here. The kind of hangout. You got Netflix on there. You got foosball. You got skeeter ball. We got more surveillance. Oh, I love these pictures, man. That was my grandpa right there on the left. That was your grandpa? Yeah. Are you sure about that? No, I'm not too sure. Well, hey, they look pretty cool. There we go. That's a receptionist there. And Very nice. the front entrance. Oh, we're getting a Oh, the bell's going. Garrett, we got a call, man. Oh. I'll meet you there. Get going without me because I have to finish stocking up one of these. What do you mean? Oh, I can jump in the trucks. wrong one. I thought you said you were all yeah. ready to go. Well, not for this call. This is involves a school bus. We need special vehicles for this. There's Here a lot we of go. People. I'm moving out, man. I'm in the ambulance. I'll get there first. Be right behind me, okay? All right, all right. I'll be there soon. Here we go, guys. We're moving. So I'm getting more information as we get down here. Sounds like a school bus head-on-head -head collision with a uh, with the pickup truck. So we're going to see what happened here. Hopefully everybody's okay. Sounds like the school bus was not too full. Just a few kids in there. There we go. We're moving. This ambulance, I just souped it up a little bit. Put a little uh, tune on the diesel engine and we can go quite a bit faster now. There we go. Made our turn and it should be right down here. It's actually right off the river. So... I wonder if this had something to do with it. There is a restaurant that I think they're right outside of. All right, this doesn't look good. There's quite a bit of people standing out there. Hopefully everybody's okay. But whenever they call an ambulance, that means somebody probably is at least a little injured. All right, let's get turned around here. It looks like somebody's on the ground. We're gonna need to help them. Here we go. Let's get backed up here. Here we go, ma'am. Are you okay? Okay, she's got a pulse. Everything's good. She seems a little daisy. All right, looks like we got some witnesses here. I think police are on their way too. All right, ma'am, we're gonna get you on a stretcher here. We're gonna get you in the ambulance, okay? Just hold on here. All right, let's see. Let me get my stretcher, jump back in here. All right, ma'am, we're gonna lift you up, get you in the ambulance, okay? Just hold on. There we go. The other paramedic is gonna take the ambulance, get her in the hospital. I think she's stabilized, should be good. Just some few scratches and bruises, but we gotta be, we gotta be safe. Garrett's on his way. He said he's gonna be here in like 30 seconds, so we need him. All right, guys, let's check out what the heck happened. I got to talk to some of these witnesses, sir. Were you, were you watching what happened, man? All right, sounds like that guy in the red shirt is the driver of this green pickup. And this guy was just, uh, I don't know, he was walking here or something. But he said this guy kind of didn't stop or anything. Sir, were you the driver in the green pickup? Are you all right? Yeah, the driver says he's totally fine, which is pretty crazy because he kind of rolled it over. But sounds like the school bus, it, has a, it had its stop signs out. And it was letting kids off at the... Uh, Raz's Ribeye's restaurant here. It's actually a really good restaurant. And this green truck didn't stop. So the school bus driver, really smart school bus driver, turned into the truck. So the truck didn't hit any of the kids walking across the street. And uh, then it ended up like that. So everybody's okay, I guess, besides the school bus driver. But I think she's going to be okay.
Well, I had to do some prying with my pry bar, but I got the door open into the school bus. Just want to make sure nobody else is in here. Yeah, we're all good. Nobody left anything's in here. So should be good. The school bus isn't too badly damaged. And there we go. Pretty good. I mean, the school bus is damaged, but I think the truck took most of the damage. Garrett, radio in, man. Radio in. Where you at? Man, I'm on the way. Traffic is heavy. Do you not have to deal with this when you were no, driving? No, hurry it up, man. Hurry it up. Let's get going. I, I need you down here blocking it off. All right, I'm turning on the road right now. It should be there, I'd say, within 30 seconds. All right, finally. There's Garrett with the fire truck. We got some traffic starting to pile up here, but uh, I honestly think at this point, I mean, Garrett's good for traffic control. It's nice having a fire truck on scene, but I think we need a tow truck now. Yo, Garrett, come check it out, man. It's about time you got here. I'm here. I'm here. What's it looking like, man? Everybody's good and stabilized. The only person injured was the bus driver, thankfully. And the the guy in the red red shirt here over here is uh, was the driver of the green pickup. So if you want to talk to him, some he said he's totally fine. Yeah, Car, we're, stop. Yeah, we're Don't getting move. more traffic in here. Yeah, where's your uniform, man? I, I I cared about getting here. I didn't care about wearing a uniform. All right, all right. What if it caught on fire? You wouldn't have been ready. I would have been ready. Okay. You say so. Well, have you called the fire or the tow, tow truck service? Yet? No, I I thought that, I thought you would have done that. I forgot. Oh come on, man. Okay, give them a call and hopefully they'll be over pretty quick. Okay, yeah, we got the scene totally handled. We just need this, need them out of the way, pretty much. Tow trucks here. I better move the fire truck here. Yep. Excuse me, sir. Yep. I'll get out of your way, sir. Just hold on, hold on. There we go. It's move. Go ahead, pull in there. Crazy tow truck driver. He's not wanting to get off the horn. We better get this traffic out of the way here, though. All right, guys, back it up, back it up. Move it or lose it. Sir, sir, you are going to need to back up, man. You got to get out of here. All right, guys, back it up. Back it up. Go ahead and start backing up. I'll move everybody. Yep, back it up. Turn around. Turn around. Go ahead, back up and turn around. All right, they're turning around. Traffic's out of here. There we go. Tow truck driver, I cleared traffic out, man. Get her done. Man, He. I feel like the way he is communicating, instead of saying, yep, gotcha, he's just hammering up. Oh, I got to move the truck again. Instead of actually talking, he just, man, don't hit Raz's ribeye sign. He, he just hits the horn. See, he's just on the horn the whole time. It's not too loud, but it's funny. The nice thing I like about when we have these traffic situations is that I uh, I can just sit here. When the tow truck comes, all I got to do is worry about traffic. It's kind of fun to watch them, you know, hook it up and all that because, uh, I don't know, they got cool equipment and it's kind of fun to see, see how they do it. Pretty big school bus here, though. It looks like he's going to want to get underneath it. I don't know. He's just going underneath the frame. Lift up. Get the back wheels off. Should work. There we go. He's Oh, yep. Yeah. He's lifted up. Tires are off the ground. Yep. There you go. You're good. It's up off the ground here. All right. Looks like everything's good. He's rolling. Oh, yep. Yeah. He's hitting the horn. He's letting me know everything's good. Here we go. He's taking... Oh, sir. Tow truck driver, sir. Hang up. We got to shut this door real quick here. I I'm going to need some help. There we go. Nice. All right. Thanks, man. You gotta don't forget the green truck. Don't forget you gotta come back for the green truck, man. Jeez, man, he's a quick tow truck driver because he's gotta take that a ways down the road. But I don't think he uh I think he knows he's working for us, so he doesn't follow the speed limit rules. Yep, he's already coming in. You can hear him a mile away. Holy biscuits! I don't know how he's gonna tip this thing over. Well, maybe he's gonna use he's gonna stick and use that thing. I don't know. Sir, sorry, this isn't gonna look pretty, man. Your truck's yep, sorry. Don't look, don't look. I know that's your truck. Alright, he's pushing it the wrong way. What is he doing? All right, man, I'll get out of your way here. There we go. I think he's got it. About to flip. Oh, no. he It was going to flip over. He flipped it back over. Dude, is this your first day on the job? Come on now. All right, let's push. Let's push. Come on, biscuits. There we go. Gosh, what a rookie, dude. I've been doing... I feel like I've been doing so much work out here, and he's been messing it up. There we go. He's getting underneath it. That's a pretty nice truck. Chevy High Country. There we go. He's got it lifted up. Okay. All right. Holy biscuits. That didn't look too good. All right, he's heading out. Well, guys, I think we got it all taken care of. I'm going to drive that. Yeah, I'm going to drive the fire truck back. This should be fun. Big old ladder truck. We can go lights off now. But hopefully you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit the like button. Like always, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>